This is Monday Motivation, episode number 228. The Melissa Ambrosini Show. Welcome to the Melissa Ambrosini Show. I'm your host, Melissa, best selling author of Mastering Your Mean Girl and Open Wide. And I'm here to remind you that love is sexy, healthy is liberating, and wealthy isn't a dirty word. Each week, I'll be getting up close and personal with thought leaders from around the globe, as well as your weekly dose of motivation so that you can create epic change in your own life and become the best version of yourself possible. Are you ready, beautiful? I just wanted to quickly remind you that if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app. Mine is Himalaya. For those of you that have not heard of Himalaya, it's an epic brand new podcast app which has so many awesome and unique features no other podcast app has, like episode and channel playlists. It's free, so easy to find new shows, and is really user-friendly. So head on over to the app or Google Play Store to download it today. Don't forget to follow me once you're done so that you can listen to my episodes one day earlier than they're usually released. Pretty cool, huh? episode is brought to you by Bloom's The Chemist. Now, did you know that 1.7 million Australians have diabetes and over half a million Australians have undiagnosed type 2 diabetes? Now, I believe it's so important to keep on top of your health and to have the data. So your local Bloom's The Chemist is offering a blood glucose screening service. It's free, quick, and you'll have the results in 60 seconds. Having this data is so valuable to anyone newly diagnosed with diabetes or those at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. To get the tests, all you need to do is head to your closest Blooms The Chemist. The pharmacist will do a quick finger prick test and discuss your results with you. You'll also get a copy of the results and supporting information for you to take to your holistic health practitioner. How easy is that? I want adventure in my life. I want my life to be one big, massive adventure because life is a big adventure. But adventures only happen to the adventurous. Adventures don't happen to someone who's sitting at home waiting for adventure to come knocking on your door. You have to go out and be adventurous. You have to radiate adventure. You have to raise your vibration to call in more adventures. You have to put yourself in new situations. You have to put yourself in different situations. This is where travel is so powerful. Meeting new people, you know, just sitting at a cafe and saying hello to the person next to you or speaking to the person next to you on the bus or the train on your way to work. That is how you meet new people. That is how you create adventure. Staying at home all day long and hoping adventure will come knocking on your door won't happen. The people that are out there on social media living a full, colorful, adventurous life are out there making it happen. They are taking action every day to create their own adventures. They are creating their reality. So we need to look at them for inspiration and not think, why is that happening to them and not me? They are creating their adventure. They are taking ownership and responsibility and taking their life adventures into their own hands. So we have to stop waiting and start doing. 
Start radiating adventure. Start being adventurous. It's so easy to get caught up in the same things each day. Going to the same cafe, walking the same way to work, doing the same exercise. Same, 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 same. But not only is that incredibly boring, but there's no adventure, there's no excitement, there's no spontaneity in that. So I want to encourage you to step outside your comfort zone, to walk a different way, to eat a different food, to go to a different cafe, to try a different workout. Be adventurous, step outside your box. There are so many things you can do and you don't have to go traveling overseas. You can go camping. You know, that's a great adventure. Just talking to someone, saying hello to someone on your walk in the morning or trying something new that you've never done before, like a hip hop dance class. That is how you're going to meet new people. That's how you're going to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. That is how you're going to create adventure because you have no idea what could happen from meeting that person and where that will lead and what adventure that will take you on. So I want to encourage you to write down all the adventures that you want to have in your lifetime. Go big, like everything, write it all down. And then maybe the adventures that you want to have this year, And then write down the ones you want to have this month. And then maybe there's one you want to do this week. And then what are you going to do today? So bring it back and write down all the adventures that you want to have in your life. And then you can tick them off when you achieve them. You can even create a little adventure journal. Get your whole family involved. Make a fun game out of it. Put them on your fridge and tick them off when you've done them. Create a little ritual around it. But remember, adventures only happen when you create them. So I want you to say a big yes to adventures. Say a big yes to stepping outside your comfort zone. Say a big yes to opening yourself up to raising your vibration to calling in more adventures in your life. I want adventures. I know you want adventures. So let's say a big yes to adventures because adventures only happen to the adventurous. Remember that. Adventures only happen to the adventurous. So what are you going to do today to create more excitement, more spontaneity and more adventure in your life? What are you going to do? What is the one thing that you're going to do today? Because adventure is possible for you. That excitement is possible for you. And remember, adventures only happen to the adventurous. <laughs>